I don't have to make this stuff up. I just have to put a tune to it. <laughs> <clears throat> My husband, Lord Andreas, loves a party, big or small. And at the Baron's beer bath, she drank lots of alcohol. When it came time to gather home and homeward to our tent, Attempting to doff off his clothes as off to sleep he went. I thought that he would pop the buttons on his coat hardy. I said, why, honey, please don't rip your 14th century. But he heaved a sigh and said in reply, you'd better help me, please, because I can't get out of these. All these stringy bits are tough for an inebriated guy. <laughs> his hose and were fast with blue and tied up to his brace, and his brace had many lacing points and tied up to his face, and his codpiece rather manly was all tangled up in spots. Oh, his coat hardly was lovely, but his underwear's in knots. <laughs> I have a friend in Sacred Stone, a Scottish lad named Dougal, who, like all Scotsmen far and wide, is really rather frugal. But nonetheless, when needed, he can put on quite a show with the latest Highland fashion in a manner apropos. <laughs> I think that Scotsmen look so fine when dressed up to the hilt. I said, why, Dougal, you look grand in your new Stuart kilt. But he heaved a sigh and said in reply, it takes a lot of money for a lad to look this bonny, but where it does the show, I didn't have to buy. <laughs> his linen shirt of saffron was a most becoming shade, and his tartan wasn't spartan, but a pleated woolen plate, and his rabbit fur, black spore, and twirlers tassels quite a lot. Oh, his kilt was rather boring, but his underwear was not. <laughs> I have a friend in Windmasters, her name is Kat Romanish. She has eccentric taste in garb and dresses quite outlandish. Was I surprised to see her at her twelfth night revelry, clad all in silk and velvet, most Elizabethan Lee. I thought that pale blue mats with chocolate brown did rather suit her. I said, why, Kat, you look so elegant in your new tutor. And she heaved a sigh and said in reply, Though a lady I portray, underneath I love risque. <laughs> and she lifted up her skirt so I could spy, thigh, high. I'm not making this up. Her pink and fuzzy slippers didn't match her argyle socks. <laughs> and her bright red satin bloomers with the pirate heads in rock. And her farthingale was covered in big purple polka dots. <laughs> Oh, her dress was rather boring, but her underwear was da 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 da. Her dress was rather boring, but her underwear was not. I didn't actually check to see whether Dougal went commando under his kill, but I did ask his lady wife about it. There's only just so much research. I'm willing to.